Hello vinyl community, it's Billy here uh, coming at you today with a uh, brand new uh, sealed to revealed um, Steve Earle, Transcendental Blues. Uh, this album actually came out in uh, 2000 um, and it's actually, this is the first time, it, well no this is act, the second time it's been uh, pressed on vinyl. The first one is super, super, super rare. Uh, the original pressing only sold uh, in concert, uh, you know, at his shows, and they go for stupid money. I mean, absolutely stupid money. And you never see them up for sale anywhere. They're just uh, even on Discogs or eBay. They are stupid. Um, I did see one in the last two or three years uh, come up for sale. And uh, it just wasn't in good enough shape for me to even consider buying. Uh, so when when I um, heard they were actually uh, reissuing this, I was pumped. The only thing now uh, that that they haven't reissued uh, on vinyl is um, oh gosh, uh, El Corazon, uh, which is probably behind the I mean, El Corazon or Transcendental Blues. There is a toss-up for um, my favorite post-prison uh, Steve Earle record. You know, um, Steve went went to prison in the uh, uh, early to mid-90s um, for a while uh, for just doing some crazy, crazy stupid stuff with, with drugs and just, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of different stuff. But uh, got, his self, got his life back together. Uh, got out of prison, uh, you know, then released, uh, what, Train of Coming, I Feel All Right, El Corazon, Transcendental Blues, uh, it, Jerusalem, I mean, it, and then after that, he kind of lost me when he started going real political, but these are some of the best, uh, Steve Earle records, um, ever, I mean, even right up there with Guitar Town, uh, and, and Copperhead Road. The, this record, uh, Transcendental Blues, and the hopefully the, the next record they actually put out, which is the last record they haven't haven't issued on vinyl, um, El Corazon. So either El Corazon or Transcendental Blues, either of these two records, in my opinion, are right up there with um, with Guitar Town uh, and Copperhead Road. So. For those of you who aren't familiar with Steve Earle, um, he's very much uh, cut from the same cloth as, say, Bob Dylan, uh, Bruce Springsteen, um, singer-songwriter, uh, Towns Van Zandt, Guy Clark, um, you know, guys like that. Um, matter of fact, he grew up... Uh, you know, idolizing guys like Guy Clark and, and Towns Van Zant and, and uh, hung, hung around with those guys for quite some time when he was in his uh, developmental stages and early stages of his career. And you can you can hear a lot of a lot of those guys come through in his music. So here's the back cover. I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna do a uh, sealed to reveal here on this uh, since it has the uh, um, the hype on there. What I would uh, and it is a gatefold. What I would typically do is. Um, just cut the, uh, the shrink uh, real nice and careful as to how I cut the shrink because I like to keep the shrink. I know some of you guys just like to keep the um, just like to keep the uh, sticker, and that's cool too. But I like to actually, you know, just just cut it to where I can I can remove the shrink nice nice and safely, and then I will just fold this uh, shrink up like so so it's nice and flat and I'll actually save this and I'll put it when I sleeve it I'll just you know throw it in there and that way if I ever want to put this back in the bag um, for some stupid reason if I ever want I mean I've still got the shrink and I I mean you could put it back on it goes right back on easy um, so here, here's what we have here. I'm gonna set this aside. It's a very nice. I love. It's a matte finish. Uh, the artwork is is uh, tremendous, beautiful, on there. We're all at five minutes, and I had I just broke this thing open. So uh, it's three sides. It's a two LP, three sides. Uh, the fourth side is etched. So I, I haven't seen that. I'll show you the uh, gatefold, which you guys are seeing it 
uh, as the first time as I'm seeing it. So that is very, very cool. Uh, looks like we have uh, lyrics, credits, as well as some other cool artwork in there. I'm not sure if there's anything on the inside other than just records and jackets, but no, just records and jackets. So let's see. Uh, oh, nice custom label here. So here is a custom label for you. Just a standard uh, black vinyl. Nice uh, custom artwork on those labels. That's kind of cool. Um, it's just a paper sleeve. Uh, you know what, though? I can't be too, too upset because um, I think I paid um, $24.00. Uh, $24.99, so 25 bucks for a 2LP set. Um, paper sleeves, custom labels. Um, like I said, 2LPs. Um, and then the third third side is music. The fourth side is an etching. So let's, uh, I, I don't know what the, the etching is, but. Uh, oh, very cool, very cool. Kind of like the uh, cover art. So here is um, side three. And then the etching is on side four. Don't you, don't you see that? Very cool. Very, very cool. So I can't wait to uh, give this thing a listen here real quick. Um, standout tracks on this one, at least for me. Um, let me get this back in here and go through. So your, your standout tracks... Um, on this one, uh, it's a Transcendental Blues, um, Another Town, uh, Steve's Last Ramble is, is phenomenal, Galway Girl, I love that, Lonelier Than This is great, um, When I Fall, uh, which I believe is a duet with, uh, uh, I don't know if that was his sister Stacy that sang, um, uh, it doesn't say on the back here, it, it was either Stacy or uh, Jillian Welch. Um, you know, she sang on a handful of, uh, I know Amy Lou sings on some as well, but I don't. I know that it wasn't Amy Lou, but I believe it was Stacy on When I Fall. I'll have to check and see. Uh, might actually be in the credits here. Um, no, uh, yes, here we go. Um, when I Fall. It, it, it doesn't say. No. Anyway, maybe I'm thinking of a different song. Anyway, um, I Don't Want to Lose You Yet, um, Until the Day I Die is a great bluegrass uh, feel to it. Um, and then Over Yonder, Jonathan's song. Phenomenal, phenomenal song about uh, a guy on uh, on death row. You know, Steve did a lot of work, um, and still does uh, do a lot of work with inmates uh, on death row in, in Texas. Um and so he, he kind of started putting a lot of that, uh, those stories in his songs. And that, that's just a, a brilliant, brilliant song. So, um, guys, just something real quick. Uh, this album really means a lot to me. I remember where I was uh, the, in 2000 when I bought this uh, CD uh, when it came out. Uh, Listen to it. I had a, I had a little uh, black Ford Ranger at the time. And I remember it, just like I said, like it was yesterday, the first time. Uh, I listened to this and just was, was blown away um, by this album. So I'm so happy to finally have uh, have this on vinyl. So thank you guys for tuning in. Once again, that is uh, Steve Earle, Transcendental Blues. There's another look at the gatefold, um, two LP set. If you guys are, are uh, Steve Earle fans, definitely go pick this up. Um, it, it's uh, not to be missed. I mean, it's, it's, it's a great, great, great record. Uh, or even if you're not, maybe you're not uh, into Steve Earle, but you like, you really like guys, the singer-songwriter guys, like the, like Towns Van Zandt, like Bob Dylan, like Springsteen, Guy Clark, Jerry Jeff Walker, you know, those those type of things. You, you, you definitely would, would dig this album. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to give this thing a spin. And uh, until next time, we'll see you. Peace.